were not giving up. Family members are remembering a man who lost his life on Lake Winnipeg as a hard-working and dedicated family man. They're mourning 31-year-old Tyler Ballantyne as they continue to search for two others who have been lost on the massive body of water since June 28th. He was very, very well loved. He had, uh, uh, well, he's, he's got, he'll have seven children here right away. His spouse is pregnant right now. And, uh, yeah, he, he was a good family man, so young, a young family man. Cousin Ryan Alt said everyone is devastated by the loss of the 31-year-old father and fourth-generation fishermen who, alongside two other men, were fishing in the north basin of the lake when they stopped to hunt a moose and then failed to return home. Ballantyne's remains have been the only set recovered so far, and the tragedy has left the entire Missipoistic Cree nation heartbroken. Alt says more equipment is needed to continue the search as they're trying to locate the craft the three men were traveling in to try and narrow the search area. To bring closure to the families, like we're such a tight knit community, um, the uh, uh, the search search efforts are going on every day. A statement from the RCMP reads, quote, this is such tragic circumstances, but to see the outpouring of support from people within the community and outside the community has been amazing. In speaking with the families, they are also so thankful for all the support from people who are helping with the search, the lodging, and food for searchers. As for Alt, he says many don't understand how volatile Lake Winnipeg can be, saying conditions can change in an instance, leaving even experienced fishermen in awe. But he reiterates the search for the two other men continues full force. Right now, our our focus is that we've got one of our brothers home and we're going to bring two more. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.